is about to get cake for breakfast. It's like a rice hash brown. We've been traveling for about three weeks now, so we do have somewhat of a routine. We're gonna film just what we get up to today. We'll also do a hotel tour. In one of the previous videos I mentioned, we would show you around. We've got two pools. One's actually right out the front of our hotel room. Really lovely hotel. It's beautiful. It's just a really nice central location. literally on our doorstep. So the actual hotel itself is quite spread out and everybody seems to flock to the main pool up on the rooftop. I don't think many people know that this one actually exists because we haven't seen anyone use it. I guess we just got really lucky with the hotel room. upstairs pool this is the main one this is the rooftop pool so this is another one of the hotel's common areas up here it's directly opposite from the pool that we just showed you we have been up here a few times ourselves to do some work and yeah it's really nice there's no air, um, air conditioning but there are fans and there's a slight breeze that passes through lovely now we're going down to the breakfast area not to have breakfast um, with our package we find that we eat way too much and we get way too full too quickly and then we just don't eat for the rest of the day so and we want to enjoy the Thai food so this is the breakfast room dining area over here to the left and this is where they serve the food this is all the buffet station here teas coffees toast continental breakfasts um, just your typical Typical breakfast. So the name of the hotel is called the Bodhi Serene Boutique Hotel. It is located in the southeast corner of the old city. Um, really good location, walking distance to shops, cafes, markets, and also a lot of the temples. Just left our hotel on our way to our local coffee shop just to get our coffees for the morning and get the day started. So we're caffeinated. We are now heading to one of the local markets here to get something for brekkie. about to get cake for breakfast. I can't decide little what I think is banana muffins or plain donuts. I don't know. So from the market, we picked up a few things. We got some sticky rice with what looks like to be a custard and some coconut cream. <laughs> We've got six donuts, all stuffed with, looks like different types of jam and custards. A traditional Chiang Mai pork sausage, a banana bread, and another little cake, which we're not too sure what's in it, but it looked interesting. I'm gonna guess either pineapple or pandan. Last pineapple, you can't go wrong with the pineapple Thailand. This is 
in his element feeding the fish. He's like a fish whisperer. And now we are off to do some laundry. We love laundry. And I'm not even joking, we actually really love laundry. I just need to add that all that food we just got from the market was about 120 baht, which equals about $5 Australian. That was enough food for two people. So yeah, nice and cheap breakfast. It was enough food for, I would say about four people, but two of us. And around 12 o'clock we generally come back to the hotel when it gets too hot outside to be walking around the city. And we're about to um, head inside, it's about 3 o'clock. We're going to freshen up and head out for a late lunch. We're starving. I think we're going to get cow soy. Yeah, we? definitely cow soy. Yeah. I think every day since we've been in Chiang Mai we have had cow soy. Pretty much we just walk and find mm -hmm. a different restaurant every day and just try something new. Or try, try a different one in a different restaurant rather than going to the same one each yeah. day. Yeah, Steve found a um, little street food one that we're going to go to that doesn't have a name or anything like that. I don't but even think it has a menu, does it? It doesn't have an address. Even on Google Maps, <laughs> it's just a GPS coordinate. Um, yeah. So we're about to go back to the room now, have a shower and head there now. And hope it exists. <laughs> We've just got halfway to where I think this restaurant is and I've realized I have left my phone at home. So I'm just going off by memory how to get here and we'll see how that goes. So this road looks familiar. It's either this one or we're one block away. How are you feeling, Christy? Are you confident? Yes. I've got faith. We found it. It's here. Oh, it's and they're open. So we may have celebrated a little bit too early. Yeah. They close at 2.30. So we just got to the night market, checking out all the different things they sell, clothes, souvenirs. Haven't come along any food yet. That's what we're we're here for. Like, there's no like strategy or flow to it. Yeah, we're just gonna go farm the food. I'm on the hunt for vegetables or fruit or something remotely healthy. Let's see how I go. There was insects back there. I'm pretty sure they're full of protein. <laughs> it's kind of set out like a grid section. So I think we've been every other way and we have found another part. So check it out. Success! I did find something healthy. It's barbecued beef and veggies on a stick. Number two, I actually found vegetarian dim sum. So I will give these a go. Should have got sauce. So course three, I got a rice cake. I can't eat that yet. <laughs> I actually really like that. What is it? Just rice. Mm. It's like a rice hash brown. I like it. I got a red bean filled one and a custard filled one, but I think he's giving me chocolate because they don't look like custard. We'll see. I don't know what flavor that was. I think that's pandan. It wasn't custard. He gave me the wrong one, but I'm not mad because I love pandan. Tastes exactly how it looks. 
chocolatey. It's not a brownie. It's more of like a little moist cake. It's good. So this one's really interesting. It's a fried milk. I don't know how they make the milk solidified, but they do. Mmm. It's like a little custard thing with condensed milk. It's got like a light tempura sort of batter on it. I like it. 